Okay, so, hello, how are you? Fine. Fine. Okay, um, the first thing we're going to start doing today is we're going to start doing an, a game which is called Alphabet Relay, okay? And they, what, um, this game consists of one person is going to say a word starting with a letter from the alphabet, in this case, starting with A, then the next person will have to see a, a letter starting with B, and so on, okay? And the thing is that each of you will have to say a word uh, belonging to a specific category. So, for example, for example, imagine I say, uh, so Miguel Ángel, starting with A, starting with A, a part of the body. What would you say? Arm, for example, okay? So the thing is that you have eight seconds to think of a word, okay? Okay, all right? So are you ready? Yes? Okay, so let's see. So for example, um, I know, starting with A, a continent. Asia. Asia, very good, okay. All right, um, let's see. Um, uh, Andrea, starting with B, an animal. A bunny, okay, or a bear, very good, okay. Uh, Ivan, starting with, starting with a C, a verb. Sorry? Call, Call? okay, very good. Uh, Miguel Ángel, starting with D, another verb. Dream. Dream, okay. And uh, let's see, I know a starting with E, a part of the body. Okay, so Andrea, can you help her? Starting with E, a part of the body? Ear. Ear, for example, okay. <laughs> or, or elbow, yes. also elbow, remember? Okay. Um, Andrea, starting with, uh, starting with F, a country. France. France, for example. You are starting with G, an adjective. With G. Three seconds. Okay, giant. Very good. Um, Miguel Ángel, starting with H, st something you can eat. Hamburger. Okay. And start, let's see, I know, starting with, starting with I, with I, a uh, noun. Okay, time's up. Andrea, can you help Ainoa, starting with I, a noun? A noun. Uh, idiom. Idiom. Island. Okay. And um, start, uh, even starting with, starting with J, the name of a planet. <laughs> the, name of a the name of a planet. With J. With J. Jupiter, okay. Miguel Ángel, starting with K, something that can fly. No? Some, with K? Nobody? Okay, time's up. How about a kite? A kite, okay. And uh, I know, starting with, starting with L, something you can put into your pocket. Something you can put into your pocket. A lantern. A lantern, okay. And uh, the last one, Andrea. Starting with M, something you can drink. You can drink. Something you can drink with M. Mm. Four seconds. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, thanks up. Anyone? For example, for, uh, what do the cows give us? Cows. Cows can give us milk, okay? Okay, so just a way of, re uh, you know, just re remembering some of the vocabulary that you all know, but just to, to remember it, okay? Okay, now we're going to play another game in which um, a person, one of you, is going to say what you did yesterday, okay?
And the next person, it's a memory game. The next person has to say what the previous one said plus something of his own. The next one has to say what the first two people said plus something of his own. I'll, I'll explain. I'll give you an example, okay? So imagine I say, yesterday I ate pizza. I now would have to say, yesterday Ivan ate pizza and I read a book. Andrea would have to say, yesterday Ivan ate pizza, Andrea read a book and I uh, watched the film, okay? Let's see how many we can do, okay? Let's see. What? Uh, as, many, as much as we can. As, as many as we can, okay? So, let's see. Yesterday, I listened to music. I, I know. Yesterday, Ivan listened to music. And now, I'm reading a book. Okay, so you have to say what you did yesterday, okay? Yes. So, uh, using the past simple. Yesterday, I... Uh, uh -huh. I read a book. I read a book, okay, very good. Okay, uh, yesterday Ivan listened to music. I know read a book and I uh, I went to the cinema. Okay, all right. Something more complicated, Ivan, let's see. So Ivan uh, yesterday listened uh, no, uh, listen to music, mm -hmm. I know read a book, uh, I Andrea went to the cinema mm -hmm. and yesterday I studied. Okay, Miguel Angel. <laughs> uh, yesterday, Ivan listened to music. I know I read a book. Uh, Andrea went to the cinema, and Ivan the kids. <laughs> uh, and Ivan studied. Okay. And what did you do? Uh, I ate uh, pasta. And you ate pasta. Okay, let's try to do one more round. Okay, one round. So let's see. Let's see if I remember. I might not remember. Yesterday, I went. I ate pizza. I know I read a book. No, no. Listen to music. Oh, <laughs> that was the exactly. That was the example I had given. Okay. So ye yesterday, I ate. Uh, I, I listened to music. I know I read a book. Uh, you let me see. My goodness, <laughs> my memory. <laughs> you watched. Uh, uh, the cinema? You went to the cinema? Or, okay, so, and Ivan uh, studied. Thank you, Ivan. Uh, you can see my memory is terrible. And, uh, and Miguel Ángel... I <laughs> forgot, completely forgot. And Miguel Ángel ate pasta. And I, so we tried to do one more. Yeah. Yeah? And, and I, and I uh, walked on the street. I walked on the street, okay? Let's see, I know okay. if you can do it. Uh, Ivan uh, walked the street. The first one. So starting all the way from the beginning. Yes. So it was that I. Yes. 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 Yesterday, Ivan listened to music. I know I read the book. Yes. Yes. Andrea. Yes. Andrea went to the. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, let's end because I, yes. Anyway, my memory right now is not the great no. Okay, um, well, what uh, we're going to focus now on we're going to focus now on what we call adverbs of frequency. Okay, can any of you tell me in which situations you think we can use adverbs? of frequency, or in other words, what do we use adverbs of frequency for? For something you do every day. Not necessarily. To say the frequency that you do something. Yeah, so basically we, we, are, we want to say how often, how often we do something. Okay. Okay, I'm going to write a scheme over here. So imagine we have
Okay, so we've got different adverbs of frequency that we can use according to, they take place, uh, depending on if we want to say, if we do something the most often or the least often, okay? So the most often, which adverb of frequency could come? And we talk about the most often. Always. Yeah, that's what, of course, always. Most often we would have always. Uh, not yet, later. So after always, underneath? There you go, almost always, almost always, almost always. Almost always. Um, beneath, almost always? We, usually, normally, okay, we have usually, normally, and there are other adverbs of frequency that go in this same column as usually and normally. Can you think of any other ones? Gener generally. Generally, so we always said usually, regularly, regularly. Okay, okay, then beneath this section we would have other adverbs. Which, okay. we have sometimes, exactly, we would say. Um, Often, exactly, often. And one more, starting with F. I know. And continues with frequently, exactly, frequently. Okay. Um, beneath this section, Starting with O. Occasionally. Occasionally, exactly. Beneath occasionally? Do you think we have reached the bottom or do oh. we still have one more, right? Oh, man. Hardly, hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever, apart from hardly ever, starting with R, rarely. rarely, and another one which you might not be familiar with, starting with S, maybe you don't know this one, with S, seldom, uh. seldom. And finally, never. never. Finally, we have never. And apart from never, not ever, not ever. Okay. Okay. All right. So here we have different, all these different adverbs of frequency that we can use, right? So, is it okay if I erase? Yes, can I erase the, the board? Okay. Okay. So, now, what we are going to focus on is in which part of the sentence we have to put these adverbs of frequency, okay? So, we focus on statements and questions ok 
Okay? Talking about statements and questions. Imagine we, ha we're, we have a sentence which only has the verb to be. If we have a sentence which only has the verb to be, in which part of the sentence you think we're going to have the adverb of frequency? After to be. Exactly. Yeah, no problem. After. After the verb. Can you think of an example, Miguel Angel? I am always listening to music. Okay. Now imagine we have more than one verb. Imagine we have more than one verb. In which part of the sentence is the is the adverb of frequency going to go, Ivan? After the first verb, exactly. After the first verb. Can you think of an example, Andrea? In this situation over here? Can be auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, let's take the sentence. Do you go? Uh, do you go to the swimming pool? So let's put the uh, do and go. Yeah. Where would we put the the auxiliary the, the adverb of frequency? I know. Imagine we have the the question. I I do you go to the swimming? Yeah. Exactly. So we have. Exactly. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, and now what happens when we only have only one verb, which is not to be? What happens when we only have one verb? When we have only one verb, which is not the verb to be? For example, run. Mm -hmm. Exactly, Andrea. Before the main verb. I have before the verb. And I know, can you think of an example in this situation over here? Only one verb, which is not to be. For example, take the verb to walk. Hmm? Yes. A sentence with a verb to um, walk. I regularly uh, walk every morning. Yeah, I regularly walk. Um, okay, no, because what you're doing yeah, there yes, is yes, you're putting yes, every morning. Yes, yes. I regularly uh, walk. Um, Where? Uh, in, the, uh, in the street. In the street. Very good. Okay. And uh, what happens with questions, when we have questions? Ivan, what do you think we do when we have a question? Where will we put the adverb of frequency? Um, imagine, let's take, a, let's take a sentence, okay? Let's think of a, of a negative sentence. I don't, I don't eat hamburgers. Where would we put the adverb of frequency? Do you often eat Can you say that again, please? Do you often I, I, I don't eat hamburgers. Uh, uh, Andrea? Uh, I, don't usually... I don't usually eat hamburgers. So we have after, auxiliary verb, and before, the main verb, okay? 
And the question is, uh, do you usually eat hamburger? Yeah. Yes, no? Do you usually eat, Do you usually eat, eat hamburgers? hamburgers? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. We were focusing on the, on the question in this case. Yes, we, this was a question, exactly. So, do you usually eat hamburgers? Yeah, yeah I was thinking of the negative, but exactly. So, if, with the question, do you, imagine, do you eat hamburgers? No adverb of frequency, but if we want to put an adverb of frequency, then we'll say, do you usually sorry. eat hamburgers? So, after the subject, exactly, after the subject. So, um, after the subject. Okay, very good. And um, then we have negatives, negative sentences. What happens with negative sentences? Where will we put the adverb of frequency? Imagine, let's take a negative sentence with no adverb. Um, I don't... I don't run in the street, for example. Let's put an adverb of frequency in there. I don't usually run. I don't usually run in the street. I don't always run in the street. So where do we put it? Before, before not. Yeah. Exactly. Really, before not? I don't usually... After. after, exactly. After not. After... Not. Very good. And uh, finally, the last section we would have imperative sentences. With imperatives. Now, the, the interesting thing about this situation is that with imperative sentences, we are only going to use two adverbs of frequency. Always or never. Can you think of a, an imperative sentence? What does a mother tell her child sometimes? When a mother is angry. Or any other example you can think of. Never cross the road in red. Yeah. Exactly. Never cross the road in red. Or you never... Do what I tell you. Okay, so before the verb. Um, so basically, the idea is that with these ones, the with imperative sentences, the adverb is going to come at the beginning of the of the sentence. Okay, so for example, as Miguel Angel said, never cross the road in red, um, or when there is a lot of traffic. So we would put this at the uh, at the beginning. Okay. All right. So this is, these are basically the main adverbs of frequency that we are going to use. Can I erase the board? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And uh, another another idea I would like to mention is that we can sometimes we can sometimes encounter you can use before I know it you used an, a different adverb of frequency uh, every day, for example. So these oh, these would belong to a different category. Okay. This would belong to a, to a different category. So we can have, imagine, um, once, twice, five times, and how would we finish this, uh, this um, how can we complete these adverbs of frequency? Exactly. So, for example, once a day, once a week, once a year, a day, week, year, etc. Okay. Okay. Another possibility is to have every. If we begin an adverb of frequency with every. Um, can you see well, I know? Yes, yes? okay. Yes, how, yes. Uh, how can we complete uh, every to create an adverb of frequency? Every, every afternoon. Every, so we have every day, every month, every, month, every night, etc. Okay. Um, 
and we would also have on. How can we complete on to create an adverb of frequency? Mondays. On Mondays. So with days of the week, right? right? On Mondays. Also, we can see on weekends. On weekends, for example. Okay. On Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursday, etc. Um, so the question now, we have all these different adverbs of frequency. In which part of the sentence are we going to place them? At the beginning, at the middle, or at the end of the sentence? I know. Depends. No, in this case, in all of them, it's going to be the same. At the end. At the end. Exactly. So you're going to come at the end, at the end of the sentence, right? So these, all of these are going to come, all right? Uh, but uh, for example, uh, on Mondays, uh, I usually go. Yes, exactly. Claro. So there are exceptions, <laughs> okay? So usually, the general rule is that they come at the end. Now, what can happen? We can put these adverbs of frequency at the beginning. When can we do this? Or why would we decide to do this? Exactly. When we want to emphasize, when we want to add emphasis. For example, imagine a mother, a mother tells her child, every day I tell you to do your homework. The mother could also say, I tell you to do your homework every day. But since she, she, uh, since she, is, uh, she, she wants to emphasize the message, she starts, she puts the adverb at the beginning. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to do now? You're going to work in pairs, okay? And I'm going to give you uh, some photocopies in which you're going to fill in the, um, the spaces. You're going to have in brackets um, an adverb of frequency and a verb, okay? So for example, for example, imagine we have um, So we have Mr. Jones, in brackets, adverb of frequency, never, and the verb to be, late, the adjective. So how could we complete this sentence with, in the appropriate way, to create it with the adverb of frequency and the verb to be? It's never late. Exactly. Mr. Jones is never late. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. This would be the first exercise that I would like you to do. We have just done as an example. Um, if you want, you can do it individually or in pairs, however you prefer, okay? All right.
Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, are we ready? All right, let's see. Uh, Miguel Angel, can you do the first one, please? Oh, yeah, the second one in this case, yes, of course. I often clean my bedroom at the weekend. I often clean my bedroom at the weekend. Very good. Ivan, please. Uh, my brother hardly ever helps me with my homework. My brother hardly ever? Helps me. Very good. My um, brother hardly ever helps me with my homework. Very good. Andrea, please. Does the school bus uh, always arrive at half past eight? Exactly. Does the school bus always arrive at half past eight? I know, please. Uh, I'm sometimes uh, bored in the math lessons. Exactly. I am sometimes bored in the math lessons. Miguel Angel, please. We rarely watch football on TV. Very good. We rarely watch football on TV. Ivan, please. Uh, you and Tony never play computer games with me. Very good. You and Tony never play computer games with me. Andrea, please. You are uh, usually... The sports on Sunday. You are usually at the sports center on Sunday. I know, uh, please. Uh, the school bus uh, don't always arrive at half past eight. Okay, let's see. Uh, the school bus don't always arrive. Now we're using the auxiliary. Do you've used the auxiliary? Don't or do not. What do we have to change there instead of don't? No. no. Doesn't. doesn't exactly exactly doesn't okay so the school bus doesn't always very good doesn't always arrive at half past eight and the last one Miguel Angel please don't you usually have dinner at half past eight don't you usually have dinner at half past eight okay very good okay okay and now we are going to do it, we're going to do another activity, it, also of, it, adverbs of frequency, in which you're going to have a sentence, and at the end of the sentence you're going to have an adverb in brackets. So, for example, okay, so we have they go to the movies. And in brackets, often, you have to choose in which part of the sentence you will have to put it. So, where, will, where, will, where would we have to put this adverb? They exactly. So, we will put it over here. They often go. Okay. All right.
We can hear a lot, right? Okay. All right. Yes? Okay. I know, please, the first one. Uh, the second one. <laughs> Classical music. Exactly. She rarely listens to classical music. Andrea, please. He sometimes reads the newspaper. He sometimes reads the newspaper. Very good. Ivan, please. Sara never smiles. Sara never smiles. Miguel, please. She always complains about her husband. She always complains about her husband. I know, please. I sometimes uh, drink coffee. I sometimes drink coffee. Very good. Andrea, please. Frank is often ill. Frank is often ill. Ivan. He doesn't usually feel terrible. He doesn't usually feel terrible. Miguel Angel. I always go jogging in the morning. I always go jogging in the morning. I know. She never helps her daughter with her homework. She never helps her daughter with her homework. Andrea. We don't always watch television in the evening. We don't always watch television in the evening. Ivan. I never smoke. I never smoke. Miguel Angel. I seldom eat meat. I seldom eat meat. And I know. I always eat vegetables. I always eat vegetables and fruits. Very good. Okay, and now finally, what we are going to do in the time that we have left is we're going to do a little game over here in which we're going to have two teams, okay? So we'll have team A and team B, okay? And you're going to have cards, and in each card, you're going to have, in the card, you're going to have an adverb of frequency, okay? So um, you're going to have an adverb of frequency, and you have to ask, a per I, I will give you an example, okay? Uh, you have to ask a person in the, in the opposite team a question about how often he or she does something. So we're going to ask questions starting like this. So we'll go, um, how often do you so, okay, so the person who takes a car has an adverb of frequency and you have to ask the person sitting in front how often he or she does something. And if the person answers, the person has to answer using an adverb of frequency. Okay, if he uses the adverb of frequency that you have in your card, your team gets a point. So imagine, for example, I have a card that says uh, never. Okay, so I decide to ask uh, Miguel Angel, Miguel Angel, how often do you play rugby? Mm -hmm. I am asking him this question because I think that it's very likely that he never plays rugby. So Miguel Angel say, if he says, I never play rugby, a point for me because I have the adverb. If he says, I sometimes play rugby, okay. uh, it's their turn, okay? All right. And we have to say the truth. Ah, <laughs> uh, good question. Um, Yes, let's try to say the truth, okay? Because otherwise it's not fair. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I'm going to give each of you a set of cards over here. Facing down, okay? Uh, don't look at the cards yet, please, okay? And over here, all right? Okay. So, so we, we do like this, okay? A person in each team picks a card, and in the meantime, in the meantime, it, you cannot help your, your mate, okay? So, for example, if I know takes a card, Andrea, you cannot look at the card, okay? All right? Okay, so, and remember that uh, when the person answers, you have to use an adverb of frequency, okay? Okay, whenever you want. Uh, so, for example, Andrea, can you start, please? <laughs> How often do you go to the cinema? Uh, I hardly ever go to the cinema. <laughs> it's not that one, no? Okay, so, uh, all right. Uh, so now, well, yeah, yeah don't, don't, don't put it back here so you can leave it there so they don't repeat themselves, okay? And now, Miguel Angel, if you can uh, take a card, please. Uh, 
29. Yes, please. How often do you teach? Um, I um, teach every day. Okay. Is it that one? <laughs> no? It's not that one? Uh, it's possible to use uh, every day. Yes, yes, yes. It's not that one? Okay, so now it's a, a turn for Team B, I know. Um, to Ivan? Yes. Uh, how often uh, do you go uh, to the gym? Uh, I often go to the gym. No, it's not that one. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, when you when you take a, a car, so as, uh, so as not to put it again in the in the same pile, so put it separately so that they don't repeat themselves. Okay. Nah, it's it's okay. It's okay. So yeah, so when when you when you use one, like put it in a separate place so that they don't repeat themselves. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ivan's turn, please. <laughs> I I sometimes go shopping. No, it's not that one. Okay, you know I'll keep it. I'll keep the ones that you that you don't use. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Andrea's turn. It's easier for others. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you go on party? Uh, I go on party uh, occasionally. Occasionally, I go on party. Okay. Okay. Is not that one? No. no? Okay, right. Are you being honest? Are you saying the truth? Yeah, well, yes. Sometimes it's uh, more specific the word than. Oh, okay. Yes, I know, I know. That's why we're doing it. <laughs> uh, how often do you eat uh, meat? Meat? Uh, I never uh, eat meat. It's not that one? Okay. Yes. Um, how often do you travel by bus? I travel by bus every day. It's not every day? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, it's not very it's not that easy, right? You have to be so specific. Okay. I for Andrea. I do sports. Um, I usually do sports. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. 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 How often? I think that is going to. Uh, how often do you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I I sleep every day. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know which one you have. Yes. Okay. Every night. Every night. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can guess at least one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, whose turn is it? Uh, Miguel Angel, right? Yes. Or, uh, Sleep a nap. 
at the weekend? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pues normal. How often um, do you eat vegetables? Twice a week. I twice a week. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're going to finish them. We're going to finish them soon. Twice a day. No? Okay. Let's see, I know. Um, how often uh, do you go um, to the mountain? I never go to the mountain. No? <laughs> Occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> it was uh, oh, three times a day, of course. Ah, <laughs> okay, let's do two more. Let's see if we can guess the, the last two. The, the last two, okay? Two more. We can say close. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally, okay, okay, finally. Okay, your last chance, teammate. Let's see if you can get them to say the right adverb of frequency. Uh, how often do you eat breakfast? Um, I have breakfast every day. Wow! <laughs> Bravo! Okay, so this is a tie, okay? One to one. I think this is a good time to stop, okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, if breakfast is okay. It's have, have breakfast. breakfast. Have breakfast, breakfast. yeah. Yeah. Have breakfast. yeah, have breakfast, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, so, um, okay, so let me see. Time over here. Okay, and now just uh, a last uh, discussion among us, uh, just to finish um, this lesson. Uh, let's see, how many of you, how many of you uh, never, never go um, to, um, for example, how many of you never travel to Europe? How many of you never travel to Europe? None of you. How many of you sometimes travel to Europe? Sometimes. How often is sometimes? <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> 
uh, for example, uh, Ainoa, can you tell us uh, when you usually travel to Europe? Uh, I usually go um, travel to mm -hmm. Europe. In the summer. Yes. Okay. So you travel to Europe in the summer. Okay. Yes. And an Easter. Actually. An Easter too. Okay. And how about you? Eh? When do you travel to Europe, Andrea? The same. I usually travel uh, at summer and sometimes uh, on December. Sometimes in December also. Okay. Uh, you have a free time in December. Yeah. Okay. Even. Uh, uh, same. The same? same? Okay. And Miguel Angel, do you travel, do you sometimes travel to Europe? Mm, yes. Yeah. Uh, I buy, uh, I lost it. Twice a year. 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 Twice a in, in two, two years. years. One time? Oh, one time in two years. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, um, okay well, so that's going to be all for today, okay? Uh, thank you very much, and I will see you, you. next day.